But in Over the Rhine, wind took out the side of a brick building. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick live for us there with a look at the damage from literally all across the region, Brian. Literally all across the region, Brian. Yeah, Curtis, well, uh, we're just a few steps from Finley Market here. I want to show you the wind's been blowing all day, but here they've been worried about the rain. Well, raining bricks anyway. Take a look at this vehicle. The bricks came down from about three stories up, slammed into this truck. Fortunately, no one was in the truck. They believe the wind caused all this damage, but this isn't the only place the wind left this mark. It's an invisible force. But the shadow of the wind could be seen in waving trees and in what happened to some of them. Like this one that came down in North College Hill. It was pretty shocking, you know, just waking up and hearing a big explosion. Frederick Harper said the tree came crashing down, taking down about every wire with it. The power went out. It was gone. Even after the power was restored to the system and the tree was cleared from the street, Gerland Weather still couldn't go home because it took out the electrical box at her house. We are out and we were, we're going to be out until the box is replaced, so I have to call an electrician. And it was a windy wake up call for the Lyons family in Hebron too. Woke up with a big, very loud screech and crash into my bedroom, very near our bedroom window at 7.30 a.m. this morning. This tree just missed their house. I heard the big crash onto our deck and I knew it was bad. And they're not alone. There were trees falling and power outages all over the region. We've had storm calls throughout the weekend, kind of preparing to make sure crews were available, but uh, true, to, true to form, we definitely saw a lot of trees come down on our lines with uh, kind of lines everywhere. And in over the Rhine, the wind is being blamed for blowing a giant hole in this building on Pleasant Street, where the only thing pleasant about the ending is that no one was injured. Now we're told that the uh, owner of this truck is also the owner of the building was in the first floor was not here again. No one inside this truck. They put up this barrier to try and keep people safe around all of this because that hole's still up there. They're going to have to stabilize all of this. Meanwhile, there's an awful lot of cleanup to be done here and around the area. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.